Yes, gang, that's right, that's right. It's <coughs> Poppy's other workshop. Hey, gang, Poppy here. And yeah, I'm in the computer room. This is a media commentary. Okay, media commentary. I've spoken before about an actor named Samuel L. Jackson. Well, this one, this video is about, specifically about Samuel L. Jackson. I've mentioned him in passing and other contrasts. And other, but today, Samuel L. Jackson. Now, Everyone knows about if they haven't seen Pulp Fiction. Unless you live under a rock. Okay? Yeah. You know about Pulp Fiction. Samuel L. Jackson played a hitman. A tough guy character. Uh, just recently he played... John Shaft. Can you dig it? Another tough guy character. And if you didn't catch the can you dig it part, you're not very old. When I was a kid, that movie was first run. And from the theme of the movie, yeah. Okay, now, Samuel L. Jackson. He played Shaft. He'd been playing tough guy and bad persons. That's what he's made his career on, right? Tough guys. How many of you remember a little blockbuster movie about dinosaurs called Jurassic Park? Look at him in that movie. Balding. Uh, I believe he had a mustache and glasses. Dweeb. Could have been anyone playing a dweeb. Mm. He was sort of dweebish, but not very. Right. Sorry, he just doesn't seem to have the nerd. Just doesn't have a grasp of the nerd. Anyway, if you want to see his range a little more extensive of his range, let me. There. Bring that out so you can see my hand gestures. Uh, that's my knee. Uh, I got red shorts on. Uh, trunks, you know. Okay. Uh, you want to see a little bit more of his professional range. What you want to do is watch a movie called Caveman's Rhapsody. It's spelled Caveman's Rhapsody. Anyway, he played a concert pianist, a Juilliard trained concert pianist. And he thinks there's this guy in the Sears the Chrysler building up in the attic of the Chrysler building with this machine, he's beaming rays, insanity rays out. I mean, you can believe that this guy crazy enough to think that he's living in under this big boulder in the Central Park. Caveman, yeah. Concert pianist, Rhapsody. And he thinks this guy in the Chrysler Tower on his machine is beaming insanity rays at. 
It isn't until the last 15, 20 seconds of the movie where they go up into the attic of the Chrysler building and there's the machine. Yeah. I believed he was crazy. Uh, to borrow from Richard Pryor, you can probably guess which Richard Pryor album title I specifically applied to the character that Samuel L. Jackson played in Caveman's Rhapsody. As he played it. He played it. Perfect. Okay. Just recently I watched a Samuel L. Jackson movie called Unthinkable. That's it. Unthinkable. Um, he plays this nobody type character. And it turns out he's a specialist expert, expert specialist anyway, in extracting information from people. Shall we start with your toes? That kind of information extraction expert. <laughs> okay, so I start watching this expecting he's going to be a Pulp Fiction, almost Vulcan, laser focused, emotionless. He brought out a whole bunch of his character development arc in that movie. We saw the psychopath that would chop off fingertips, pull out fingernails. They won't say exactly what he was doing in the guy's crotch with that sharp implement. But you extracting information. So didn't they telegraphed it that he kills the uh, suspect's wife. And I really believed, <laughs> I really believed he would do very horrible things to the suspect's two children in order to get the information. I won't tell you whether Samuel L. Jackson was right or not. That would be a spoiler. Watch the movie. If you want to see an actor display almost the complete range of emotions in one production, Unthinkable. Oh, and by the way, uh, the actor who played Jimmy James, the owner of the radio station on the TV show, news radio, he shows up as the CIA agent.
He wasn't all that uh, happy and fun Jimmy James. He was a vicious bastard. Yeah. So, all your Samuel L. Jacksons as Bastard General or the Hitman. John Shaft. Can you dig it? Uh, back then, anytime someone would say Shaft for any reason, for a while, can you dig it? Hey, we were crazy when I was a kid. I don't know what to call the kids nowadays because we were crazy, but they're Intergalactic nuts. Yeah, intergalactic level nuts. Um, anyway, all his tough guy roles, right? Then there's the dweeb from the dinosaur movie. Two crazy guys. Actually, he's got a very impressive range when he acts. He's been making the money with the tough guys, right? I mean, have you ever heard of Caveman's Rhapsody? Or Unthinkable? I mean, you would think you'd heard about Unthinkable. He's playing a badass. But no, these are the gems that you need to watch. Not the shit down at the Cineplex. And, well, that late night cable movie. Whatever they get out of the dollar bin at Wally World. That's what they're playing. Good night from California. Check it out. Unthinkable.